and then walk out by the pond and see if we can spot anything. Anything that creeps or crawls or slithers. It's a beautiful day out though. It was actually pretty dark earlier, so don't know how long it'll stay nice exactly, but hold on a second. Downside with this cell phone is I can't see with the uh, reflection of the light, I can't really see very good through it. Yesterday I came upon a uh, water snake out here. It doesn't usually happen in this area, they're usually over by the dam. Uh, but the water level is running really high this year. And the dam's having its own issues. Trees down and everything. Uh, can't wait till it warms up. Some of this water evaporates a bit. And what you see down there right now, like how fast this water is running, how high it's running. You know, this is kind of typical for spring, but this is an ideal weather for catching snakes and turtles and all that good stuff. Um, although, some other good spots are right over here, along the edge, this guy crossed over. and I don't know what the heck happened to that over the overwinter, that, that, I mean that stuff's strong, that steel, I can put all my weight on it, it won't bend, so something happened, uh, let's take a look here. take off. He looks tiny right now. I'll do a close-up post. He's actually a big one. I mean, by big main, I'm seeing like two and a half feet. There we go. Nice. See, that's what I'm looking for. That's what, once I get my, once I get my new tripod and my, Gro my GoPro is going to be coming in next week. Once I get them, I'm going to set the GoPro right, right where I am right now, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of broaden it. You'll see me coming in, you know, over here, <laughs> sneaking up on this guy, <laughs> trying to catch him. That's that's what I call a fun time. So, well, I realize not everybody's into snakes. I am snapping turtles, all that good stuff. See, this is what I call fun. Try not to spook him. I mean, he sees me, but I'm not close enough yet. Pretty cool, right? Can't wait to get that GoPro. It's an awesome camera. It's water resistant. It means even if I want to wear it on my chest or my head, I can jump in the water. I can hornet, hornet swing around. I can jump in the water, don't have to worry about ruining that. But yeah, I'm going to have a one camera sitting right up here. Actually, I'm going to have two cameras. One sitting up here, then a GoPro attached to my head. So there will be two different views. There will be this one view. Sorry, there's a wasp trying to bite me. What the hell, wait. Sorry. There's a lot of uh, hornets and wasps and everything in between out here. Yeah, he's just lounging, man, trying to soak up the sun. Pretty cool. And he's a good, like I said, he's a good size. He's probably two and a half feet. He might be three feet. I can't really see him. He might take off. I'll try to move a little bit to the side here. Now this cell phone camera sucks. That's what I mean. I'm really looking forward to getting a better camera. You can kind of get the length of him a little better right there. See? Oh, oh, he sees me. He's going to take off. I suspect there's probably another one or two down there on the side of the rocks. That's usually where they are. 
they're always really hard to spot because they blend right in. And on top of that, like I could run that. This is when I usually capture him. If I ran down there right now, I could easily grab his tail. He wouldn't see me. That's usually how I get him. They'll start to creep off really slowly. You can see them real good still, I think. I hope. Uh, but then while they're on the other side of the rock, I usually I jump across here onto the grass. And then I just grab his tail, you know. I've had too much caffeine. Oh, shit. That guy is pretty cool. I just love being out here. I love anything snakes, turtles, reptiles. I don't care what it is, but they're about the only animals that you can actually come out here and observe in their natural habitat. No deer is just going to sit there, no bear is just going to sit there. You know what I mean? So. We're pretty limited. With these guys, there's a lot of opportunity. If you know what you're doing. Like I mentioned in the other video, I was an exotic animal uh, breeder for years. Uh, I messed around with some mammals and stuff, but I was mostly... Yeah, there he goes. I was mostly a... I bred boa constrictors and different types of pythons. I like boa constrictors because they have uh, a lot of young. Pythons have eggs. I always hear that. It's pain in the butt. Yeah, he's about two and a half feet. Good size. Good boy, look at that coming up. This is cool. See, I look, I just happened to come out here. I'm not looking to capture anything because I don't have the equipment. But then I stumble across this guy. This is the type of stuff that I live for, you know. Yeah, he's only about two and a half feet, but he's pretty fat. Yeah, I got a hornet on my leg right now. One on my thumb, I just blew off. I want to see him take a dive. Usually what they'll do if they get scared, or just want to take off, they'll, they'll hop into this, right? I want to stay focused so I don't lose him. But then they'll go all the way down. You go down the way he's and it slows down a lot. And then they usually kind of, sl you know, slither off to the sides and uh, set up camp there. I got some fishermen here behind me. Bugs trying to bite me. It's all for you guys. Get the hell off me. I don't know why, but there's wasps and hornets all over the place. Probably shouldn't have had three Red Bulls before I came here, but I'd move closer again to move, but I don't, I don't really want to bother him, you know. I try not to mess with them unless I'm actually trying to capture them because I don't want them to grow accustomed to seeing me or anybody in that, that matter, and then just taking off because they know, they know fear of humans, right? A lot of people actually come here and they kill these guys uh, for no reason at all, just because they're snakes. And I know snakes aren't real popular amongst a lot of people, but uh, killing them for no reason at all, I just don't see the point, you know? He's lowering himself down there. There he goes. <laughs> see you swim, big fella. It's hard to see in the, you know, in my, from my cell phone. It helps when he's against the white, but once he gets in the water, it's hard to. Oh, look. Look, look. Oh! <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> the hell is he? Oh, over there. Look. See him? Right behind the, the patch, right there, right behind that patch. That was awesome though. He went under, he went under the water and he went over there. Be slow. Don't want to disturb him or anything like that. Yeah, there we go. He's coming up to the, the 
it's hard to see through this phone, but I think I got it. Up on the rock bed. You can't see me though, his head's behind the rock right now. Let's see. Shaky man, it's caffeine. I drink way too much. You know, so I keep staying as I can, but it's crawling between those rocks. Let's see, this is where a tripod will come handy. I don't want to be shaking so much, huh? It's hard to see through this lens, too. So, Snatch them easy right up right now. Like I said, I want I don't want to get until I get all my equipment, I don't want to mess with them. Because then it puts them on full alert. For those of you who don't know, they can't hear for, for nothing, so you can't hear anything I'm saying, but if he sees me move, then their eyesight isn't very good, but if he sees me move with the slightest, that's all I would take mentioned in another video, for snakes in Maine, all we really have is gar snakes, ringnecks, uh, you know, grass snakes, smooth green snakes, same thing, uh, red bellies. We do have some milk snakes, northern milk snakes in Maine. They're just really rare. And so, kind of looking around right now because there could be other snakes sitting right around here. I came here one day and I sat the woods, right over there, right beyond that, that fallen log. Um, I sat there for about an hour, and I had five snakes. It was breathing season. Just all come out around me. It was crazy. It was pretty cool, you know. Let's see, let me try to make this a little smaller so you can see more. Yeah, he's pretty much chilling out right there. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm not going to pop down and grab him like, as much as I want to. This is what I do, guys. In the summertime, this is what I do for fun, you know? Uh, this is what I do. I have tons of VHS videos of this stuff somewhere. I, I don't know where. Went through separation a long time ago. I have storage and stuff like that. I just don't know where anything is, that's all. I hate not being able to see through this, you know, through my cell phone though very well, it's frustrating. I know I don't have a lot of space, so I'm trying to get his whole body in, but I can't even see where his tail ends. Let me see here. Yeah, I think it's about right. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's about him right there. I mean, he hasn't moved for some time. I mean, he's got his, you know, his head sticking right there. He's, he's got the sun, you know, on him. He's happy. He's chilling. Chilling in the hood, man. Chilling in the hood. <laughs> I've always loved snakes. Uh, any reptile ever since I was a kid. Here I am in my mid 40s. Look at me laying on concrete, crawling around, skulking around, getting bit up by wasps. I still love it. It's, I think I'll always love it until I die. You know? take a lot to keep me from coming out here and doing what I love. I love boxing. I love jiu-jitsu. I love all this stuff. I love arm wrestling. You know, sports. But uh, in all honesty, there's nothing I love more than just coming out here where it's nice and quiet and uh, by myself. And just chilling out, man. In nature. It's a healing thing, too, you know? Uh, no matter what's going on in my life, in the summertime at least, anyway, I can come out here and enjoy myself and uh, be at peace, you know? These guys aren't going to hurt you. They're not going to say anything that breaks your heart. <laughs> you know? They'll always be here. It's a constant. The ones I'm looking forward to a lot, though, like like I said, when I get my tripod and my GoPro, I can actually tape myself doing all this stuff. It's like literally chase, like jumping in the water. Like when he went that waterfall, it's about five, four or five feet deep there. I would have jumped in after him, you know, if I had that stuff. Just, it's just fun. It doesn't hurt the animal at all. You know, I'm against that stuff. Mild stress for a few minutes, just holding him. But I think it's worth it, worth it to educate people and. Show them that snakes are gross and slimy and disgusting and all this, you know. Hey man, he's just chilling out. I'm probably gonna go take off and look for some more. He's got really it's nice and sun's coming out real bright. But yeah, it's awesome. Let's see. Picture. Yeah, and I'm moving around a fair amount actually. He's not reacting at all. Uh, he's not worried, you know. You don't bother them, they won't bother you. You know, I, I lived in Florida for a long time. Uh, rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, alligators, crocodiles, everything you can imagine. I think I wrestled them and caught about all of them in one form or another, one time or another. Uh, good times. All right, buddy. Take care of yourself till I come back and catch you on another day. Give me about two weeks when I'll get my GoPro pal. else we got. It's a little man there. Hopefully hopefully he's been mating with many women. I want these guys to have lots of babies. Like I mentioned, some people come out here and they'll kill these guys. They're so, as you can see, they're so easy to get. Oh, look, it moved a little bit, though. He saw me moving. He's like, what the hell's going on, man? <laughs> Eyesight is only so good once you get a certain you know, ways away, they have a hard time seeing it. Now, I saw one on these banks here. That I'm going to run out of space on my phone here shortly, but I did see a couple over here. Actually, I saw three you know, all the way down there, but uh, my pal's still st hanging out over there. Let's see if we find anything. There's a little hole in there that I like to crawl into, but. I try to see them before I take off, you know, when I'm walking, but half the time what I'll do is I'll just simply hear them, you know. And he's looking around down there, but he's still there. I'll hear him or I'll see him take off in the water, you know. But you always got to watch this pathway right here. It goes all the way out to that point. 
It's good times over here. About 20 years ago. Usually I try to be real stealthy, but if I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of space left, so just want to see if we can see anything along the way here. Let me adjust my hand. beaver coming up and down through here. I've caught a few beaver in my day. <laughs> Two or three. Uh, anyway. Beaver's going to eat in butt. Oh, I hear something. Oh, damn it. I just missed him. There was one over here or a mountain. Something was moving, but I can't catch what it was. This is where it gets hard. You'll see a lot of movement in here. You hear splash in the water, but you don't know exactly what it is, right? But usually you'll see the snakes swimming out. I mean, I try to look ahead of the ways, see what I can capture, you know, visually. Many times, half the time they'll go to the woods here, and I really, I'll see them sometimes, half the time I don't. The other half the times I'll take off over here. Oh yeah, these, this all is from beaver. Snapping turtle, too, though. Snapping turtles like to come up and lay their eggs up along here, you know. Here's a good spot. I can't even see my phone right now. Hold on. Did it go dead or what? Oh, 